Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Mark Menchaca about No One Gets Out Alive, streaming on Netflix. Thank you so much for your time, man. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. It's exciting time. I mean, you know, October's around the corner. It's time to just sit down and watch some horror films. And this is one for the list, man. Like, I think people are going to really um, dig this one. You're not, you're no stranger to the genre. You've worked on horror before. What do you like about the genre, man, specifically? Uh, you know, I mean, I like, I like the fact that, um, I, 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 I've always, got, since I've done horrors and thrillers, I, I guess my favorite thing is, is finding the humanity in these characters that are, um, are very flawed, yep. which is kind of what I, I, I like about, I don't know, I guess a lot of stuff I do is a little funky, but, um, <laughs> and they're usually not great people, but I like to find the, 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 the alternative side of them that maybe once was yeah you have played a lot of very mysterious like misunderstood characters the more i think about it that is true (laughs) yeah (laughs) which is Um, very true red from this film is is a perfect example of that like it's kind of like what is happening with this character (laughs) yeah yeah i know i mean it was uh it was it was fun playing around with red and and you know, I think I think just the the relationship that Christina and I um, developed when we were yep. like we met and we kind of hit it we hit it off and um, got on really well. And then as you know, as the as we filmed, um, and then and we kind of not exactly went in uh, chronological order, but um, the last bits of it were towards the end of filming. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I think it added some, uh, like, just the relationship there. Uh, it was, it, it was definitely spiced by like our friendship that we developed over filming. Oh, absolutely! I'll tell you what I love about this film. Horror has come such a long way. There's so many different ways to scare people. Um, it's not just kind of relying on the traditional ways uh, of scaring people in horror films, like the jump scares and the gore and everything. This film blends both of those things. This this film has the traditional aspects of a horror film, but also adds like the new kind of breed of things I'm talking about, where like uncomfortable conversations and like someone alone kind of thinking of things. Like that's what I love about that. Did you notice that when you were reading the script and when you were filming this, that this kind of blended like the new age of horror and the old age age of horror as well, Mark? Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean. It's, I think there were. I, I definitely noticed the um, uh, the uncomfortable conversations, and uh, <laughs> and then just you know, I mean, there were those elements of of the old horror, but there was a, there was the you know the. I think Christine and I really wanted to focus on the re- our relationship in the yep. film and how. Um, how it did come to this point. Well, I mean, we didn't talk about like personally what we were doing, but for me to get to a point of, uh, where I have, I, I, you know, obviously no spoilers, but there was a decision to make yeah. uh, <laughs> yes. uh, that I didn't want to have to make. And so, yeah, it was fun playing around, uh, playing around with that and, and getting to uh, do that genuinely. And what I find interesting, too, is you have worked on a lot of projects in the past. Like, you look at Ozark, you look at the Outsider projects that, you know, have a little bit of that kind of horror-thriller component to it, but aren't necessarily, like, kind of that genre. Whereas this is kind of just, like, not wasting any time. And this is this is a horror film. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is really amazing there. What um, have you thought about? Because the film, the film's streaming on Netflix. Have you thought about like what you're hoping people get out of this film? Because there is a lot going on in this film, even though it doesn't have a lot of cast members. You know, there's not a lot of you on screen, but it there is a lot happening in this film, Mark. 
Yeah, I think, uh, well, you know, there's obviously the, the issue of, um, of someone being, being able to work in this country yep. that is not a citizen and they pay taxes and yet they're not accepted as, as, as one of our society in, in, in the, in the broader sense. Um, but they, you know, I, 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 I know a lot of people who have, who, who are in that boat and who, yep. you know, work and do a great job. And yet if you were to come down to it legally, they're considered, uh, illegal immigrants. Yep. Um, and if ICE were alerted, they would be kicked out right yep. away. And we'd mm -hmm. be like, thank you for your tax money. Get out. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think I, I hope that that, I hope that that does get, uh, you know, I think it, I think it pops through in the movie Yep. and, um, and then I, I, I hope that they take away that I desperately want to be a good man. Is it blow your <laughs> mind though? How the direction horror is going where you can kind of put that in there and put that right, like like front red right, center in the film like that is a big issue that it's tackling a very important issue in like a horror film you know what i mean people see the trailers for this you know they're just expecting like a a horror film and and, th and then you know there's all these kind of things happening to christina's character she's going through a lot of stuff and it's just like it kind of adds way more layers and people maybe won't expect to see that component of the film as well yeah yeah, no, I, I, uh, I know. I mean, it's, I guess that's, there's, I think that that's one thing that I like is that, uh, about horrors these days is, I mean, sure. You can have those like throwback horror films yeah. where it's just like a slasher, um, and a good time. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you also have, you know, a lot of them have, uh, I'm speaking of ones that I've read yep. um, in the last year or so, uh, they do have that like the the personal side to it, or like a, a side where you there's a there's a moral uh, compass in yep. the film. Um, so yeah, no, I think it's uh, I I do like that about about what we do. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, as actors, you you, you do this because you love it. Yep. Um, and it's, it's great to have just like a cracking good time sometimes and just do something that you don't have to, uh, think too much about. But, um, ultimately I think we, or most of us would w want to do stuff that has a voice, um, beyond just the film. Absolutely. One, beyond just the, the, the horror aspect. Yeah, of totally. 100%. And I do have to to bring this up we're talking about no one gets out alive which is streaming on netflix um you know you were also in one of my favorite shows um of all time which is also on netflix i'm talking about ozark i just really quickly had to ask just what was kind of your experience working on that show but also what was it like kind of seeing how big that show became popularity wise over the years and over the seasons very quickly um well First off, it was it's one of the it's it's probably one of my my favorite jobs that I've ever done, and that's due to the the crew, the producers, the cast. Um, Jason Bateman is is a, is an amazing captain yeah. of of a, you know of, of our ship, and uh, and he he kind of is this gracious leader. Um, and I, I yeah, and I loved the character. I, I mean, I went into it not knowing really w what was going to happen with the yeah. character, and it was a it was a very pleasant surprise. I was like, never done that before. <laughs> um, and then you know, it's kind of those. You, sometimes you get lucky, and that was one that we got lucky, and um, and it was due to the you know, the people behind the show and, and, uh, Chris Mundy, the writer, he's done, I mean, there's a, you know, he, his team of writers have, have done an amazing job. Incredible. Yep. Um, and, 
I, it was one of those that just hit off. Yeah. And yeah, you do get lucky because there's a lot of content out there that doesn't get as much attention. Um, as and, compared to shows like Ozark, Ozark absolutely. Been, yeah, it's been it's been fun. Um, I as of late, I well, I had a, I did, I kind of had my Ozark beard back. Up <laughs> yeah, I was uh, about to say people are going to see the interview and like be like, "Hey, is that that's yeah that is that the guy from Ozark and yeah, the beard?" Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I had it up until like two weeks ago. I just had to go do a do a gig and they had me clean shaven and just <laughs> took my hair. I've got a little hat here right now, but I took it took my hair way down, military thing. Absolutely. Um, and when when I showed when I showed up, you know, some of the people who did they for sure didn't recognize me from Ozark that were working on the show. Yeah. And I somebody asked me something and I said, Well, this is what I looked like two weeks ago mm -hmm. and they were like, You look fifty years old in that picture and <laughs> you liked well, the people end. are going to see no one gets out alive and they're going to be like, hey, that's the guy from Ozark. Like, it's not as big, yeah. like, like, but they're going to, <laughs> they're definitely going to be able to recognize you when no one gets out alive for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which is, um, uh, which is awesome. Uh, I wanted to thank you so much for taking some time to chat about the film. Like, I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. I, I, I appreciate, uh, I appreciate you having me. And, um, I'm, again, I'm sorry that I, I, I was, I was late. Oh, we, we did it. It's awesome. It, no one gets out of live streaming on Netflix. And where can people follow you on social media to keep up date with everything? Um, I have an Instagram. Yep. I think it's MG Manchaka. Yep. Um, and I'm on Twitter. Not that much, but I go on Twitter occasionally. Yep. But, uh, but yeah, I think, I think, I think I'm at, I think I'm MG Manchaka. Amazing. On Instagram. So awesome. Well, this has been Pop Turn of youtube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. You can be able to catch Mark and No One Gets Out Alive on Netflix, part of Netflix and Chills. You know, October's around the corner. Great horror film. Until next time, this is Mark Franchaka and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.